Hi, and welcome back. I had a subscriber on this video uh, ask a question the other day. They had a problem with keyframing, and uh, there is an answer here in this video. It doesn't have an introduction or anything, so I'll show you what solution I came up with. They dropped this comment. It's really kind of long and rambling, but they did send some files that were helpful and a text file that explained the situation. What I've highlighted here was that they wanted it to the character to run and jump and then run again and they couldn't make that happen so i believe the root cause of this problem is when you have a in place animation for mixamo the location is always the same but then you have to change its position uh, when you have that turned off you don't but the root or the origin point of that fbx file is still always in the same spot it doesn't follow with the character so um, in their case here, you know, they got it to work pretty well and you can see that in the uh, the blend here when the Action goes from one action to the other uh, That root follows along and that's fine. They have a hold placed on uh, the one on top, which is okay and um, But when we gonna make a change to this we're gonna need to have that set to nothing and we can leave the one on the bottom set to hold okay so i'm going to go to frame one i'm going to duplicate this one and i'm going to move it over and then i'm going to take these two and move them down and so we want to blend this one the problem is it's still over in that other location right if i zoom out you can see nothing really happens here well first of all i have to have that one set to nothing as well so it's not forcing itself on the frames below it and now we need to change its location. So if I go to frame one here and I pull up uh, another strip on the bottom, I have to have my armature selected. And this is the copy. You can see the keyframes. And I'm gonna bring them to frame one because that's where I want them to occur. And now I wanna set a keyframe location. So, uh, G and then Y axis and I just kind of figured out ahead of time that this lands on this second point here I'm gonna hit I for location keyframe now sometimes you can get away with just clicking the X here and it will save that location to this strip but in this case it wasn't working so a workaround is shift a over here to make a new slot now we have a copy or a third copy of the action I'm going to delete that one, delete this one, and I'm going to make sure this one is not set to hold. It's going to be set to nothing, and I'm going to blend it out about that many frames here. And now the animation Zorby should run, jump, and then run again. So I hope that helped you out. I know it's a little confusing. Took me a minute. Check out my other videos on the NLA editor, and uh, good luck with your projects.